When it comes to learning how to use a computer, senior citizens tend to harbor a bit of apprehension. To many, learning the technology is intimidating and seems like an insurmountable task, unless you are village resident Ron Cox. While many of Ron's neighbors in his retirement community are playing bridge and watching movies, Ron is playing with technology, even in the face of aging. Uh, in, in grade school, actually eighth grade, a little country school in Iowa, there was about, only about five people in our, in our whole school. Uh, my father and I went to Prescott, Iowa one time to get a haircut, and the, and the barber there was a ham radio operator. And so my father was very interested in, in radio. Uh, we both learned the code together and, and became amateur radio operators together. In 1956, this was. Break. This is W9KFB from uh, Greenwood Village, Colorado. Uh, how do you guys copy? In school, I uh, excelled in electronics because I could see the application, you know, as an amateur radio operator. I, it, was, it was real to me. It wasn't something imaginary. I could apply what I was learning right away. I used to build a lot of kits, uh, heat kits they were called. It was the thing to do, you know, you built your own color TV and you built your own ham radio outfit by putting together these kits. I must have built just about every kit they had, you know, because I could afford it, for one, and I, and I loved to do it. And, uh, and it, and it gave us like a, a transistorized TV before anybody else had one, you know. That was the uh, president of our local amateur radio club. And so it, my whole world really revolved around this kind of radio technology. But my work was always with computers, never radio. So it was, uh, the radio was still a hobby. <clears throat> and uh, computers were work. <laughs> Ron is an electrical engineer but his specialty trades include radio communications and automotive engineering. His impressive resume includes work for one of the top automobile companies in the world. I went to Iowa State University and graduated in 1964 as an electrical engineer. I uh, specialized in radio communications uh, and I did take uh, uh, the beginning uh, course in aeronautical engineering. So I always had an interest in aeronautics. I started out uh, working for Delco Radio in uh, Kokomo, Indiana. That was a division of General Motors. And I was working in the military uh, section for a short period of time. Started right off on machine controls. And I designed the little circuits, the logic circuits that, that go into them. Soon I was a supervisor of the, of the group that made these security systems. And I put in about 30 uh, big bank systems. That went along and it was very successful, but uh, General Motors needed the engineers for engine controls. So we had to coordinate uh, all of the engines that General Motors built, from the Corvette to the Chevette. They all had the same little computer in 1981. That changed in 1982. Put the fit functions and features in this computer that would control all these engines and that was my job to, uh, to pull off that coordination. We were, we were building 25,000 computers a day, and then that only grew from there. There is not one set direction for a flight path in life. Even for Ron, he may be retired, but he tries to keep his plane in flight every chance he can get. My first uh, thought is I wanted to learn how to fly these model airplanes. And so I started out with, uh, with gliders, and then I graduated to uh, uh, sport airplanes, but I found that uh, they just fly too fast for my, my, my reflexes. So I went back to, uh, to gliders. Mm -hmm. And uh, I built all sorts of airplanes. The drone experience I've had is really an outgrowth of my model airplane experience, but it's also my experience with real-time software, automotive electronics is, is contributed to it, and my experience with making model airplanes. Uh, they've all, they all kind of converged into doing the drone. And I made a helicopter, but that helicopter is very dangerous. Uh, it's not, not nearly as safe as the, as the hex rotor. I just decided to change course and, and go with the smaller rotors. 
When Ron is not playing with his toys or following his passion for hybrid vehicles, he can be found operating the center's weather station, serving as an IT consultant for the residents, or keeping the grounds on which he lives beautiful. The central garden was not watered and uh, it had some ground cover in it, but uh, uh, that's about all. And I, I kept it going by watering it. Uh, ladies r really liked the garden. Uh, the tulips in the spring, and I planted, I think, uh, 300 tulips and crocuses and, and daffodils uh, last fall, and they all came up beautiful. You can't see any of it now, of course, uh, because other plants have overgrown it, but uh, it was very beautiful in the spring. And then they, they seem to like the variety of uh, flowers that are coming up. I've been, I'm an experimenter like uh, the sunflowers out there. You know, I'd never grown sunflowers before in my life. And I thought, well, let's try sunflowers, you know, uh, because I had this big open space behind the garden where I could plant them. And you can see how tall they are. They're like 12 foot tall. Four years ago, Ron and his wife moved to Greenwood Village from Indiana. Once he arrived here, Ron says it was like a place he had never seen before. I think it's a beautiful place. Uh, I just can't get over how uh, well the uh, roads and, and uh, parks are maintained and, and the, uh, the flowers. I've just never seen any place like this, uh, any place at all. And uh, uh, it's, it's just very well thought out and uh, it's a beautiful place to live. Ron Cox will always have a love for technology as he is good at what he does. One of his mottos that he lives by, make sure you know what you think you know, keeps him motivated for the next time a new hobby lands in his flight path. Oh, I think hobbies are the most important thing uh, for a senior because it gives you a purpose for a living. Uh, I see so many seniors just kind of vegetate around here. They just sit in one spot, you know, and uh, they're not active. I think you have to be active to, to be healthy. and. A gardening is one, one thing that will keep you active uh, and chasing these model airplanes will <laughs> keep, you, keep you pretty active too.